Hey, what's going on world? Today me and Kane are back out in the Red River Gorge. Right now we're hiking out the closed section of Tunnel Ridge Road. Today I figured we'd come out and revisit an old favorite, Star Gap Arch. Haven't been out to it for a little bit. It's always a great hike, so. Been a long time favorite arch of mine out here. I think it was one of the first off trail arches I ever came out to, so. Kinda special. It's a really nice arch too, so. But from there, I'm not really sure where we're gonna go. I kinda wanna hike out to Double Arch as well. And go out and check out Tall Arch. As long as I've been coming out to the gorge and as many times as I've been to Double Arch, I don't think I've made it over to Tall Arch. And it's just right beside it. <laughs> so, we may go out and do that today. I don't know, but got a lot on my mind. Just wanna come out here get a decent hike in. Not try to do too much, but just kind of clear my head out here. I'm also dealing with a little bit of sinus funk. It's got my nose kind of congested and my throat sore. So I'm not sure if I'll be doing a lot of talking on here today, but I'll make sure to point out key features and my turns and directions on some of the user trails. But from here, we're gonna hike out to Star Gap Arch, go check it out. All right, and now let's take this spur trail off to the left. That'll lead us out to the trail down to Star Gap Arch. Yeah, now right here we're coming up on the split. That's going to take us down to Star Gap Arch. We're going to take the trail off to the right here. If you continue straight, that'll take you out to Tower Overlook, Battleship Rock, and uh, Skyview Arch. Some other little overlooks and stuff out that way too, other arches. But like I said today, we're going to go down here to Stargap Arch. So let's take the little spur trail off to the right. And then right here is where I like to cut off to make the drop down to Stargap Arch. Right here off to the left. The user trail does continue straight out through there. There's a couple of other spots you can drop off to the left to get down to Stargap. And you can also keep going out across the top of the arch. There's a little bit of a view, kind of overlook up that way. But right now we're gonna take the little trail off to the left here, make the drop down to Stargap, go down here and relax a bit. I like dropping down right here. I don't feel like it's as bad. Got a lot of roots right here to kind of step down, work your way down. Not a bad scramble down right there. But just know your limits. There's a small ledge you follow out right through here. Decent drop down right there. Here's another good spot to come down. You want to kind of climb down on the roots, act like the ropes. It works. And then there's one more little kind of scramble right up here to get down to Stargap. Okay, I'm going to show us the way. Kind of a tight squeeze right here.
And now here we are down underneath Star Gap Arch. Got a really nice breeze blowing through the arch right now. That's one thing I really like about this arch. Even on those hot summer days, come down here, you can still catch a breeze blowing through the arch. It's super refreshing, especially on those hot summer days. It's not too bad today. The breeze is kind of cool, but still nice and refreshing though. But me and Kane are gonna hang out here for a minute, let him get some food and water, sit here, enjoy this breeze and the view out through the arch. All right, now we're coming back up on the closed section of Tunnel Ridge Road. Since we're going to go ahead and head out to Double Arch, we're going to continue on out to the left here. Keep us heading in the right direction. That way we don't have to backtrack even just a little bit. So keep us heading the right way coming out this way. And then once we pop out on Tunnel Ridge Road, We'll just keep walking it out to the end of the road, drop down on the trail, that'll take us out to Double Arch. All right, now right here, right before the road actually ends, there's a little roundabout right up there where the road ends. Like I said, this is a closed section of the road, so no cars come out here unless it's forest service. But right here is where the trail down to Double Arch begins. Head off to the right here. This is the start of the Double Arch Trail. Let's hike the trail down here. Go check out Double Arch. It's 
some little spur trails coming off to the right right there but just look out for those white diamonds follow those stay on the trail Alright, now right here is another trail junction. This is where the Oxier Branch Trail begins. Keep going straight downhill here. That'll take you over to Oxier Ridge, just below Courthouse Arch. Then you hike the ridge on out through that way. But for today, we're going out to Double Arch. So we're going to continue off to the left on the Double Arch Trail. Yeah, right here on the Double Arch Trail, if you look up towards the end of the ridge, you can look through and see Double Arch. It's pretty cool. But we're going to keep hiking the trail around out to the end of the ridge, make our way up around to Double Arch. All right, now we're approaching Double Arch. There's a pretty cool rock right here. I want to kind of point out on video. Kind of like a snake's head. Pretty cool looking rock. And now here we are at Double Arch. We just crossed through underneath the arch here, coming out to this front side of the arch. Get a really nice view, looking out towards Oxia Ridge back there. Really nice view of Oxia Ridge from here. You can also get a glimpse of Courthouse Rock. Come down here a little bit further. Yeah, uh, it's kind of hard to see with all the trees growing up. See if we can get it right here. Let me get up on this rock a little bit. Uh, you can barely see it through the trees back there. Don't really want to pick it up on camera, but really nice view of Courthouse Rock. Let's see if I can try to find it through the trees. Yeah, right there, Courthouse Rock. Pretty cool. We're gonna hang out here for a minute, relax in the shade on the back side of the arch here. Enjoy the view of Oxia Ridge.
Yeah, to really see the second opening in a double arch, you gotta come up the hillside right here beside the arch just a little bit. Otherwise, it just looks like a single opening arch from down below. But right here, you can see that upper opening of the arch. Yes, yeah, so from right here at Double Arch, we're gonna follow this upper user trail going out along the upper section of the cliff line. I don't know exactly if this is the way out to Tall Arch, but we're gonna go out through here, see where this trail goes, see if we can't find Tall Arch. Well, check out this small little fragile window. Only thing making it a little window that little piece of rock right there pretty wild well unfortunately I thought we were on the path that was going to take us around to tall arch but it just seemed to kind of clip out on us there was one kind of dropped down a steep little gully but it was full of leaf litter so I know it would have been slick trying to come back up it not to mention going down it I guess it's not meant for us to go find a tall arch today, but come here, we're gonna hike back around to double arch. All right, so we just made the scramble up these man-made stairs in the sandstone here, up to the top of the ridge above double arch. You come up here, head out to the left, they take you up to a point that's known as the observatory. So let's go over here, check out some nice views of Courthouse Rock and Oxier Ridge. Now here we are up at the observatory. Right here you get a really nice view of Courthouse Rock. They swing around this way. You get to see some of Oxier Ridge back through there. Really nice view from right here. And then looking off this other direction, you can see over to Jailhouse Rock. If I can find it on a video here. I know it's back through there somewhere. hardly see it on the video though but right back and through I think right through there it's jailhouse rock it's kind of hard to pick up on this front facing camera but right back through there is jailhouse rock beautiful view back through there really nice view up here at the observatory and you can't go hang out here just a minute enjoy this breeze up here and these views and then make the hike back down all right, so after coming back down from the observatory and then coming across the top of Double Arch and then passing up where those stairs are cut into the sandstone, we're gonna come out along the ridge top just a little bit. There's an easier route up and down over here we're gonna take. I don't mind coming up the stairs, but going down them, there's no real good hand holds if you need them. So I like coming back this way. There's a decent little tree root scramble down right here. Not bad though. We're gonna take this way back down, back down to Double Arch, and then hike back out to Tunnel Ridge Road from there.
All right, now we're popping back out on Tunnel Ridge Road. Before we make the road walk, hike back out to the trailhead. We're gonna go up here, off to the right, off to the end of the road. There's a couple of little overlooks over here. So let's go check out the views. There's a really nice view right here from Rocky Branch Overlook number one. You can see over to Rocky Branch Overlook number two right there. We'll go check out the view from there in just a second. Then you get a pretty good view of the river down there, right in the middle of the frame. And then you get a good view of Joe House Rock. Pretty nice view here. All right, so right here we're coming up on a fork in the trail. Trail off to the left is the one we're gonna follow. This will take you out to Rocky Branch Overlook number two. The one off to the right, going out through here, it kind of dead ends at a cliff. I'm not really sure what's out in that area. I don't have anything marked to my knowledge out that way. So we're gonna head off to the left here. Go check out Rocky Branch Overlook number two. Yeah, right here we got a really nice view of jailhouse rock through the trees we're going to continue on along the cliff side here there's a little bit more of a view over here too so we're going to go over here and check it out yeah right here's a pretty nice view looking down on the river trees are leafed out kind of blocking the view but there's a nice little bend down there in the river pretty cool All right, so now we're back out on the closed section of Tunnel Ridge Road. From here, we're gonna be making the road walk back to the Oxier Ridge Trailhead. Had a great day out here though. Got to revisit a couple of old favorite arches. First we hit Star Gap Arch, and then we hiked out to Double Arch. Unfortunately, we couldn't find the right way to Tall Arch. I'll have to come back out and try that again. I think we might've waited a little bit too late into the spring everything's starting to leaf out especially like the poison ivy poison oak not trying to get into that then the ticks are already bad too not trying to get me or cane covered in ticks but still a great day then we ended it with some views caught some views above double arch at the observatory 
and then hit Rocky Branch Overlook 1 and 2. Pretty good day. The sky's kind of clouded up a little bit. So the walkout shouldn't be too bad. I know when we hit the gorge this morning, there's blue skies, sunshine. I was afraid it might get pretty hot and humid out, but luckily some clouds have rode in. Still nice out. Catch a breeze every once in a while. So can't complain too much. It's been a great day out here though. Got to do some thinking. Trying to get my mind right. Like I said, a lot going on. A lot of stuff been on my mind. Got a lot of thinking to do, but getting out here for a good hike always helps. Like I said, we're hiking back to the Oxy Ridge Trailhead. We're gonna load up and head home, but as always, thanks for tagging along with me and the Cane Boy. Until next time.